Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Intel confirms new Devil's Canyon processors. And what the Devil's Canyon processors are is just uh, a refresh on the current gen Intel fourth generation core processors. And it's not a socket change, but just just a refresh here. You know, just wanna emphasize just, just a refresh uh, mid-year for 2014. And with the Devil's Canyon Force Gen uh, processors, it comes with a better improved thermal interface material between the CPU and the heat spreader for better heat dissipation. It will also be supported by the new Intel series chipset. Uh, they also talked uh, a little bit about the Intel Pentium 20th generation anniversary edition, which will also be slated to launch mid-year along with the Haswell refresh and let's not forget Haswell E they, they mentioned that it will be supporting DDR4 and for those who don't know what DDR4 is is just or why DDR4 is better than DDR3 uh, to, to name just a few things why ddr4 is better ddr4 will have reduced power demand so instead of 1.5 volts ddr4 requires 1.2 memory power reduction um, migration to higher speed io better enablement for larger capacity memory subsystems more banks faster burst access higher data rates dll off will be supported optimize for p to ptp or point to point applications mitigate io noise and power supported higher data rates and so much more uh intel also talked a bit about the fifth generation broadwell processors will and it will be bringing iris pro graphics to the desktop and it will also be based on a 14 nanometer manufacturing process, which basically means that it will have a lower TDP, but with and also a lower uh, overclock ratio from the last generation. And just 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 from the Sandy Bridge to the Ivy Bridge, and now to the <clears throat> as well, you 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 notice that from the Sandy Bridge, it was able to overclock a lot better than Ivory Bridge was. That, that was because it, Ivory Bridge has a lower manufacturing process, which means all of the components are closer and closer together. So the closer they get, the lower the overclock ratio will be because the, uh, the heat that will be uh, harder to dissipate because of how close all of the things are. So, you know, that, that, probably uh not the best explanation of the the whole overclocking thing but i'm pretty sure you can uh, go find out some more information about that thank you guys for watching this video and uh, if you liked this video please let me know by hitting that like button and leave a comment down below on what you think about all these new uh, processors that's been announced and the few that's going to be coming out this year and the Broadwell that'll be coming out early of 2015. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.